and there we have the Monter Mule, and we have a nice, tight lifeline. Okay, today I'm going to do a little uh, lifeline hack. Um, if you have a lifeline that either breaks or, or uh, if you lose the cockpit piece, in this case, um, I've lost the cockpit piece and I was struggling to, you know, basically uh, get the lifeline tight enough to make it worthwhile. Um, so I came up with a kind of a bit of a hack to get the lifeline tight. It's, um, it's quite technical and involves um, actually some climbing knots and tactics. Um, called the Munter Mule um, and you also need to know a bowline. Um, I'll show you the Munter Mule um, bowline. I've got another video on that. Um, I actually do have another video on the Munter Mule as well. It's not a sailing video, it's a climbing video. But I'll show it to you here as well in context and <clears throat> the trick will be to use the munter first and get the munter tight enough using the winch, which is to lock it. So I'm just gonna show you here the, the various steps. So the first step here is, um, I've just got a, I've got a conventional bowline there. You can, you can see there, uh, this is where my lifeline came undone. I've just tied a bowline onto there. Next, Okay, so next, I've added, I just, uh, I put a carabiner on here. You need a, a carabiner in order to do the munter, the munter hitch. Uh, so you put the carabiner on, and then the munter is essentially tied like this. You, you bring this rope over, you make a P, and then you fold it over on itself. Then, you clip so it clips like that so now the munter is attached and to tighten the munter all i do is i just pull on that so let me i've got the munter on there now and basically now i'm just i'm just going to tighten it so i'm just pulling on this and the munter, part of the, the magic of it is that when you want slack, you just flip the knot this way and the slack comes out. And then when you want to tighten it, you just pull on it and it goes the, the, the other way. So it's, it's quite unique in that. So, so just pulling this by hand, I found I couldn't quite, I still got a lot of slack in the lifeline. You can see here I got a ton of slack in the lifeline. So I just decided, hey, you know what? I can get this nice and tight with the winch. And um, so I'm basically, I'm going to tighten this. But I'm just tailing it. So that's... I'm progressively tightening up the munter. So, here we go. You can see that's tightening. So there we go. Um, I'm slowly tightening the munter. Not quite, not quite tight enough. Got to get it a little tighter. You can hear the, you know, it's creaking. You see is that it's coming it's coming I want to get a little I want to get it tighter still okay that's pretty good now a little more so and just let go of the winch but I'm keeping tension on the munter there's enough friction on the munter now. So there's the munter. 
I'm just holding it tight with my hands here. I've got enough friction on the munter to be able to hold it tight. So here's, I've got the munter tight and really you can see how I've got my hand here on the munter. All I do is I flip my hand over like this to make a loop, okay? And then I bring the back end of the rope through the loop. So I gotta keep tension on the munter. I'm bringing that through. And I just wanna tighten that. So now I've got a bite of rope against the munter. And that's load bearing. You can see that's still tense there. I'll pull a little more through and then I do. So that's, the munter is tied off, but that's not good enough, that's not safe. So then we do the mule portion, which is this here, as close to the knot as possible. And there we have the Munter mule, and we have a nice, tight lifeline. So there you go, we've got the Munter mule. Um, it gets it nice and tight. It's difficult to get it as tight with any other, I found, any other knot. You try to do a bow line or one round turn at two half inches, even a clove hitch. It's just hard to get that tension. It's hard to, you know, how do you tighten a knot with a winch and then be able to get it undone afterwards? So that, actually, I'm going to show you that next. Um, so I use the winch to tighten it. Got the Munter mule. Um, and then the key thing now is that we've got this nice and tight, but you can see it's actually very simple to undo. So I'm just gonna, I'll undo this now. It's, so here's the beauty of it. To undo it, you just literally pull on this. It flips out and then you just let the knot flip to the other side and reverse the whole process and bingo there you go um, you can get it undone and that was you know this this munter mule is load bearing um, and I'll just show you again one more time this first point of view basis that's the munter hitch so basically like that and then we're going to clip that in over here and I'm going to tie it. Okay, got the monitor tight. Grab it like that, thumb up, flip over, bring it through. Enough slack there, the munter's tied off, and then I do the mule portion. And bring that as close. There you go, nice and tight.